All right, I've just finished my uh, last video about uh, wrapping up the three years of ownership of the 920 Lumia and also the reasons I didn't upgrade or didn't keep the either of the two 1020s that I bought. And I promised I'd get that video out. I promised myself at least I'd get that video out before I opened this. This is the long-awaited replacement, which I now have in my hot little hands. And so, um, not really, I mean, it's, this is going to be, I'm going to unbox it, but I promise I'm not going to run up and down each side and point to every little button and every little thing and go, oh, this is there and this is there and this is there. I'm just going to have a look at it because it's fun to unbox. Who knows, I might not even post this video, but I'll record it just for fun. So I ordered this, I pre-ordered this, and in my country... It, I looked each day to see if they were going to add the dock as a, as a freebie, as they have in other countries, but not as far as I'm aware. They're certainly not saying anything about it, and I doubt it. It doesn't look like they're going to. So it's just the uh, device, and I bought the XL, the big one, after much humming and eyeing about whether I should... Uh, go for the bigger one over the 920 which was already a big phone at the time remember everyone complained about that and uh, I guess I should say why I got the 950 XL and the reason was I mean I checked these sizes a great site uh, I haven't got any any more I think it was phone arena one of those sites has the one of the best things I've ever seen anyone make online on their phone site so well done them and it's for a size comparison you go to the site and you can pick your phone and you can pick up to three other phones and then you can calibrate the screen size, the magnification of the zoom of the browser against your phone. You hold it up to the screen and you set the size right. And then you can look at the other phones either overlaid on them or side to side like this or whatever, just laid out. I was trying to figure out if I would want the bigger phone. I like the look of this one better than the smaller one, the 950. I definitely prefer the look of the 9, of the XL. I, they're both thin, they're both light, none of that's a problem. My hands are not very big, so I was concerned about that. Uh, you know, that button's too far over, but the new ones, they don't even have buttons. They hide and they, they, they have a little menu that you flip up. So none of that comes into it. The big one has the advantage of... Um, the phone allowing it, you know, you can have, well, actually, the advantage is it's bigger. The screen is bigger. It is actually bigger. And because Windows 10 scales properly, you can scale it um, in, you know, in much more detail than, um, much more granularity than you can these old phones. Um, I thought, because my eyes are not so great these days, they're certainly degrading over time. And so this year I've been wearing the you know for close-up work I've been getting these cheap sort of um, supermarket glasses for doing stuff and this phone I have found a little bit difficult to see at see sometimes I sort of have to you know go far away a little bit to see what's going on and so I thought if I get the bigger one I'll be able to scale it up and actually have slightly bigger text and everything bigger just overall the whole experience bigger whereas with, typically with a phone if you zoom in if you scale it you just get text in the browser bigger or something like that well this 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 should be the whole experience should be a bit bigger that was one reason uh yeah and that the fabulous sized excel is not that big I checked out the sizes, the measurements. It's not that big. It's actually quite efficient use of the um, display and the bezels and all that. So it's not actually that big. It's not compared with the old, like the 1520 and those sorts of phones, which are just massive. I went to the shops to try out some of the, uh, you know, the Galaxy 6 and that sort of thing, because it's a similar sort of size. The iPhone 6 is quite a bit taller. And I found them too difficult to tell because in the shops they've all got those silly things on the back which are actually really really handy for holding the device so I thought they actually were quite good for holding but they don't let you tell how big it is so now I'm holding it in my hand that's actually fine that actually feels good um, I mean they've completely balled up Windows 10 with the UI and old Windows Phone 7 and 7.5 you could operate everything from down here with your thumb 
that was one of those non-advertised advantages or benefits or the cool features of that operating system is how you could operate it with your thumb. The new one is just, it's like Android and iPhones, iOS, it's just all over the place from what I've seen, it's just a mess. But so I didn't think that that was, it was a mess regardless. So I'm either going to have to use two fingers anyway, or they've done this ridiculous thing where you push the start button, you hold it in and the whole screen comes down. <laughs> it's like, we're going to give you a hamburger menu top left, but then we'll give you a button down here to bring it down the screen. And I think that's a good idea. What? <laughs> that cracks me up about it. But anyhow, we'll have a bitch about Windows 10 later. And in the meantime, the phone looks uh, beautiful. Love it. I mean, I was expecting this phone to look really nice. I know everyone's complaining. All the, re all the reviewers complain about the looks. I mean, one or two don't. Um, but the only balanced review I saw was, I think GSM Arena did a really nice, straightforward review. Most people are sitting there going, eh, it's not made of metal, or it's not made of glass, or all this crap. I mean... The last round of phones, they complained that, you know, you couldn't replace the battery and you couldn't put, put an SD card in it. Now you can do that and you can put cool backs on it. And now it's no good because it's not made of glass <laughs> or solid metal. I mean, I've looked at those S6s and things like that. I think they look ridiculous with the curved edges and all that. They're just too delicate for me. I quite like these polycarbonate sort of phones. I've actually ordered the Mo, was it the Mozo back? I've ordered the black leather one with the uh, sort of silver surround because I thought that looked really nice. I, you know, I'm not much of a hipster, so uh, the brown one was not for me. Um, it's a phone, not an old satchel. <laughs> it's not an old briefcase. And so I got this one, which actually looks really nice. Nice finish. It's not picking up my fingerprints, unlike the front, which is. But the back is not. So that's very nice, actually. It might actually keep its appearance quite nicely. And obviously it's super slim. Feels good. Uh, I was also thinking, you see, this camera, I often got those out-of-focus photos. I will uh, should be able to see things a little bit better in this, maybe. Got a nice sharp edge to it. I like the front edge. It's got this sharpness to it, which is quite neat. Makes it feel good. Yeah, I mean, I always quite liked how this phone here had these sharp edges along the bottom whilst it was curved otherwise. There's something something neat about something that's got a got curves and then it's got a machined sharp edge. It's got a sort of a machined sort of feel to it, which is quite neat. Um, the best phone of all like that is the original Lumia 800, which I think is just the nicest design ever when you actually hold it. It's just beautiful, the shape and everything, really good. Now, look, I've just noticed something straight off on this. Uh, I don't know if the uh, GoPro that I'm using is going to be able to see this. Um, but just up here, I can see what looks like some glue or something. Maybe it's just a bit of sticky from the, uh, from the cellophane. But it looks to me like someone in the factory got a bit sticky with their fingers as they were putting it together. But that's glass, that's the Gorilla Glass, so that will, yeah, it looks like it's just some stickiness that'll come off. I'll clean that off. A bit of glue or something. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of rubbery cement sticking out from there. Get a little bit of white spirits on that. So that's fine. And I noticed the same thing up here, just not quite as severe. These are made in Vietnam, I noticed. Um, actually, if you want me to make one comment, every video I see about every review complains about the price. Now, I'm going to have a little, little gripe about that because... I don't know what the hell people are thinking these days. How, what, this is 600 bucks in the States or something like that? When did, when did 600 bucks for, you know, the, the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, the real thing in your pocket? I don't know when that ever became expensive. 
I don't know why why people think it's expensive. You know, this is the most high tech you can get. You know, it's the f the most high tech CPU, the most high tech screen. You know, the most high. There's, there's nothing more high tech than this or an iPhone or a an S six or whatever. That's that's the most amazing thing. As they say, they do it with the surfaces. They do it with with everything that comes out these days. The reviewers complain about the price, and I do seriously. I don't know what they're comparing it to, because you know. Just, just how little, I'm just having a bitch here, excuse me. Just how little do you want people, you know, do people expect those poor c kids in China and Vietnam to work for, and in India, you know, just how little should they work for to make these things, you know, reasonably priced for you? You know, out here in the West, no one could make this sort of thing. You could not make this sort of thing here for a price anywhere remotely near what these cost. Personally, as someone who's grown up, you know, spending a lot of money over many years on lots and lots of different computers and devices and phones, 600 bucks for something like this, I think is a bargain. I think it's a steal. You know, my Surface costs, whatever that costs, eight, 900 bucks US. I think that's a bargain for the most, you know, the fanciest, most high-end, high-tech device you can buy today that's just a total bargain to me I mean what laptops and things used to cost I mean cheap Celeron laptops were twice that I remember you could buy you know not at the end but when they first came out because a proper laptop costs a heck of a lot more and so yeah I just I don't know what people are complaining about you know you might say it's a relative thing you know it costs this much compared to that device mm, eh. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that doesn't hold water on me. I think these things are cheap, and I think people should stop bloody complaining and should actually pay those people who make them some decent wages, because <laughs> then they would be expensive. Again, if you made that at our wages out here in the West, they would cost thousands and thousands of dollars. That means all the parts, the screens, the chips, everything. So I'm, I'm a bit disappointed. The only I'm not disappointed by the price. I'm disappointed by this gunge on the edge of the screen. I'm quite positive it'll clean off because that's on the Gorilla Glass. That'll clean off perfectly well. But that is interesting that that's there. And it's all the way around. I can see it sort of it's just a finishing thing. Often if you buy the very first of something, that's what happens. You get these kinds of issues. I worked in a factory once making automotive phone antennas, cellular antennas, and, you know, we got glue everywhere. They were handmade. So look, I'm just going to, uh, I'm, you know, have had my bitch about the price now. I don't think it's expensive. I think it's cheap. And um, I'm going to pull out my old SIM card out of my 920, which is looking grubby, 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 smeary. I didn't mean for this video to go on, but uh, there's the old 920. Gosh, why does it look like that? Mm. Here's the old 920, if anyone wants to see how big that is in comparison. It's obviously thicker. I loved how this phone felt. It feels really good. You know, it's a nice feeling phone in the hand. The weight and everything felt really good about that. Because this the size is good to grip too. If something's thin and light and wide to hold, it just becomes like dangerous, you know, you get gets become sort of a delicate thing to hold. I was worried about that with this. Um, this phone definitely doesn't suffer that. It's very well made. Dropped it many times. And I'm just going to pull out the old uh, SIM. Because I got a replacement one today. And I got the one from Vodafone, the little tiny one, to replace my other one. And it's, they gave me that for free, which was nice. And. And it's got this little adapter, so it still fits in that phone. And so I've got that, because I'm sure this phone uses the small one, as far as I'm aware it does. Now let's just get into this thing and open it, because that is here, it's telling us. I think The Verge, I didn't watch The Verge's video, but I saw that they were, did something stupid and broke this thing. I, I looked at, took one second to look at it, and I thought, I bet they've done something stupid they didn't have know how to pull it apart or put it together because I've watched people pull it apart and they're trying to shove something around the edge and do all this stuff if anyone wants to know I have not touched this I haven't done this before but what you're supposed to do with this type of thing is you put your thumb on the back 
you're trying to pull it away like that. That's what you're trying to do. You're not trying to split it apart like this. You're just doing this. Now watch, I'll just do it. That's how easy that is. Not an issue. <laughs> First time, dead simple. Look at that monster of a battery. Well, good. Now, where does this sim go? Does it go in there? I guess it does. Do I lift that or do I just shove it in? I think I just shove it in. Oops, I'm going to take this little thing off. I don't know why they keep making these things tinier and tinier. I don't think it... It's not like they then filled up that space with electronics because the slot is still huge. Ah, uh, which way is it? Do I have to refer to the instructions? Oh, excuse me. I know we all hate looking at paper. Nano SIM micro SD. Nano SIM is under the battery. Oh. Oh, so that's actually, they mean put it there and shove it in. That's what they're getting at. So this thing is under here. Okay, let's pull that up. It seems you ought to be careful that you don't rip the uh, lever, lever that up and break it off. But uh, there's the nano slim, slim, sim slot. Nano slim slot. There we go. Yep. It's going to pop it in until it clicks, I suppose. Yep, it clicks just like an SD card or micro SD. Okay. Mm hmm. Made in China. It's a bargain, I tell you, it's a bargain. I mean, what with property prices going through the roof everywhere, these things are a steal. They just cost nothing. I mean, they're just a bargain. What's Anyhow, I'll stop going on about that. Um, this has got the wireless charging. I never bought that for my 900, even though that was obviously famously the phone that had it. I never bought it because uh, my view was uh, my phone actually lasted all day, so I didn't need it. And when I did go to bed, I didn't want to have to put it on something to charge at night. I wanted the lead plugged in so I could use the phone because I would use it. Now I use my Surface, but at the time I was using my phone in bed. So back here, what have we got? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yep. Okay. And put it back together. We'll just uh do. Yep. That actually goes off and on very easily. Very nice. Now, a lot of people are complaining about creaking. I'm not getting any creaking now, but when I do get some creaking, I will Pretty sure with a bit of finger grease I can make it stop. So we'll see what happens with that. And then I'll clean that up as well along the edge. Okay, so there's that. Now I sort of expected this to boot up, but it hasn't. And is that just because there's no charge at all? Surely they have a charge in these things. Oh, actually, I'm actually not going to do the boot because you don't want to sit around through all that. So that's probably going to take a while. <sighs> I guess that's everything I need to talk about. Um, these buttons, whatever, happy with those. USB-C, happy with that. That's funny having the hole on the front like that. But should be good because this hasn't got the speaker. I mean, the benefit with the old 900 had the speaker here. So you could hold it like that and it would always, you know, you could hear it nicely. This is one of those phones that has it on the back. Not so sure about that, but we'll find out. We'll find out how that goes. Yeah, so my uh, first take on this, call it an unboxing, I guess, but uh, my first take is yes, liking the hardware very much. Size is good if you're worried about, you know, do you want a phone this big? Um, so far, that's fine. I think that'll be good. It doesn't have that paddle look that you see. Some people walking around and they got great big things. This hasn't got that kind of look to it. I think it's actually quite sleek. Yeah, very nice. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Uh, thanks for watching. I guess let me just check what's in the box. Yeah. 
just looking at what's in the box you know it's an unboxing ah yeah the usual stuff you've seen it all in the other videos i'm not going to bore you with it it looks good okay thanks for watching if you liked uh, give me a like i will do another video where i talk about something about the os i've got to do something about the os same as on the surface i need to as well and on the desktop and also something about this camera which i'll try and tell you what it's like in comparison with uh, what we've just seen in my 1020 videos all right thanks again thanks for watching bye bye